I was engaged actually twice. One time when I was young, when I was 19. Pretty good relationship. We just, like I said, we just wanted different things and it fell apart. And met this girl named Adriana about five months ago. Like she was from New Orleans. Pretty feet, pretty legs, pretty toes. The whole package. We used to talk every day. Like it wouldn't be a day to go by we wouldn't talk. Checking in on each other, making sure we okay. Talking about our hopes and dreams and you know. Third month, that's when she started asking me for money. And then uh, all of a sudden it just, every day just increasing to more, to more, to more. I just can't do it anymore. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Scamfish presented by socialcatfish.com. On today's episode, we speak to a 38 year old man named Jason. He's been dating a girl online by the name of Adriana that he met on the app Instagram. The two have been in contact for about six months and he is now having doubts about her being who she claims to be after sending her thousands of dollars for food, gas, and bills. Let's see if we can get to the bottom of this. Real quick guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your comment and like could help stop someone from being scammed. Let's get into it. Uh, hi, my name is uh, Jason Whitehead. I'm from Durham, North Carolina. I'm 38 years old. I'm a Libra. Recently single after three years of dating somebody. I was engaged actually twice. Uh, one time when I was young, when I was 19, right out of high school. And um, it was a pretty good relationship. We just, like I said, we just wanted different things and it fell apart. And then met this girl named Adriana about five months ago. And she was really, really, really beautiful. I mean, this girl was gorgeous. She's about five, seven, five, eight. You know, she got the curves all over. Yadi, 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 yadi. Uh, <laughs> pretty hair, like she was from New Orleans. Pretty feet, pretty legs, pretty toes. The whole package. So I scroll, I was scrolling through Instagram, and that's how I met her through Instagram. The first message I received from Andrea was, hey, how you doing? This is Andrea from Instagram. I saw you on my biggest fans. Would you like to follow me? And then I said, sure, why not? Yeah, we used to talk every day. Like, it wouldn't be a day to go by we wouldn't talk. For, like, the first three, th I say three months. On average, you send at least 10, 15 messages a day. Checking in on each other, making sure we okay. Talking about our hopes and dreams and, you know. Just wanted to be, you know, with each other. She said she had a problem with her baby father who wanted her to get an abortion because he didn't want to have any kids. And she said she kept the baby and she always wanted to come see me. She's like, I'm in a bad situation in California. I don't have nobody to help me out. I love to meet your family. Can I come see you? And my parents, they don't want to take care of my baby anymore. I work all the time and she was just going through a tough time. I mean, like I said, the first two months wasn't too bad, but after that third month, that's when she started asking me for money. First time she asked me for money was to get something to eat because she said uh, she had to eat all day and she wanted lunch and all this stuff. And could you send me $25 through Bitcoin or Amazon gift card? So I was like, okay, I'll send it to her, no problem, you know. And then uh, all of a sudden it just... Every day is increasing to more, to more, to more. Sometimes 50, sometimes 100. The most you asked me for one time was uh, 100. So no matter what, you never got above $100. That includes Amazon gift cards, and that includes like cash apps to her uh, Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is like $1,000. Amazon gift card is probably about 600. I started having doubts about Andrea when she kept asking me over and over and over, like every day it'd be something else. I want any money for that. My son is sick. I need gas. I need food. My parents need help. It was just constantly every day something. She needed medicine. She had to pay her son's hospital bills. Her son needed medicine. Her parents need help. It would be for a variety of different things. It just kind of messed me up because I wanted to believe in the fantasy so much that it just all turned out to be a bunch of lies. As far as the future goes with Andrea, I'm not quite sure about it. You know, so I'm just, you know, reaching out and 
seeing what the cars may hold. I mean, I really can't say there's going to be a future for us. The other girls in the past I've dated, they really, they didn't compare to her, but they were, they were more personality-based girls. Like I said, I don't go for looks. I mean, I give anybody a chance as long as you got good personality and the vibe is good, then yeah, we can rock. But uh, this girl here was different. She just was like, I got to try, you know. But compared to other girls, nah, it's, it's different. I just can't do it anymore. I can't afford to be sending out that much money and lose it. So I'm very cautious with who I send money to. And I was, might be planning on marrying this girl. It was serious for me, but it just didn't work out. And I think she's a fake, honestly. I want to find out if this person is real or am I just kind of looking things, but I want you guys to see a little further. Maybe I'm you're seeing something I'm not seeing. It just turned into four months of lies and seed and, you know. We help thousands of people who are being victimized by romance scams every year. When we started this YouTube channel, our goal was to spread the word about these terrible scams. Three weeks after receiving this video message, Jason reached out once again to tell us about him getting back with Adriana and that he had sent her more money. We knew we had to sit down with him ASAP to stop him from sending any more money and also to get more information about this mysterious woman. Yo, we just wanted to hop on a call with you and talk to you face to face about Adriana, this girl that you've been talking to since August. She's still trying to reach out to me, still doing the same soul stuff. Where are you guys at? Are you guys are talking every day? No, not every day. Well, when's the last time you've talked to her? Uh, a couple of days ago. When you first reached out to us, you just wanted to kind of spread awareness on, you know, scammers. Yeah, I tried to cut her off, but she just wouldn't leave me alone. It was like, kept on, I tried to ignore her, tried to block her. Call me different numbers, I blocked them too. And eventually I was like, I tried, I tried to forgive her, but I just, I just couldn't. So when you block her, does she try to reach out to you in different ways? Uh, different phone numbers, different, different WhatsApp names, or she'll change her Instagram or anything, try to get in contact with me. What? Instagram were you talking to? Uh, initially it was Adriana Renee, or is this her name? But then she has another one called Real Creole Barbie. So she has like two different ones. Mm. In the video that we got of you kind of explaining the story, you told us that Adriana initially reached out to you and told you that she saw you on her OnlyFans. So were you kind of using like some kind of paid subscription to talk to Adriana? Uh, I was. Our OnlyFans, it's the kind of the same thing, the real Creole Barbie. And then it says her name, Adriana Renee. So I don't know. Uh, it's, it's just confusing. It's like two different, it's two different pages. One is fake, obviously, and one is the real deal. So you sent money through gift cards and Bitcoin, Bitcoin correct? Yeah, that's it. Your, car, okay. your cards and Bitcoin. You sent us the Bitcoin wallets. We'll look up those. Where were the gift cards sent to? So did you just kind of scratch off a code? And, yeah, scratch um, off a code and take a picture. Like $1,600 worth. Gotcha. And what, what kind of gift cards were they? Mainly just Amazon. When was the last time that you sent money to Adriana? Oh, uh, it was like beginning of March. It was like March. When you send a gift card, it's impossible to recover that money. So please do not send any more money to her, okay? I won't. Not at all. No. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Finding the real Adriana's page was our main focus. We had five profiles altogether. It was confusing. The account that Jason was conversing with had the least amount of followers, so we knew something was fishy. We were able to track down the real profiles on our website, socialcatfish.com. 
If you're looking to find the identity of your online lover, you can start with the tools on our site, socialcatfish.com. You can click this YouTube card or click the link in our bio. Just hitting like, comment, and subscribe helps us build more tools out for you to use in the future. Jason had the right OnlyFans account, but the wrong Instagram profile. The next day, we sat down with Jason to end this confusion and hopefully put a stop to this scam. We know that you've had like a lot of doubts about Adriana being who she claims to be. So today, we're just gonna kind of run through uh, some of the stuff that we found and all of the information that you sent over to us. So the first thing we want to look into, Jason, is the Bitcoin. So you had sent over to us seven Bitcoin addresses for us to verify. So we looked into those accounts, and as of today, each of those accounts have a total balance of zero. Wow. For anyone in these types of scams, we always highly recommend that you reach out and file a report with the FTC. I know that you had sent us three emails for us to verify. One of the emails we were able to verify and it linked us to a WhatsApp account and an Instagram account named Bright Exchange. That was a little weird. So then we looked into that a little bit further and it looks like it's a crypto trading business and the people posting in that account are not from the United States. We worked together and we sent over Adriana a link to track her location. All of the clicks were based out of Lagos, Nigeria. Wow. <sighs> I kind of figured that in a way. So using our reverse image search and our new feature, which is called the looks like feature, we were able to pinpoint who the real Adriana was. So two of them, were uh, verified profiles. One of them was a fake profile, but none of the three profiles that you sent to us were Adriana's main profile. The first two profiles that you sent us were Creole Barbie and Adriana Renee, and those are actually her backup profiles. So if you look inside her main profile, she has all of those ads to her backup pages. And this is something that's very normal for an influencer to do this, to have backup profiles. Just to add to what Drew is saying with her multiple accounts and her multiple profiles, I can definitely see how that may have been deceiving when you were chatting with Adriana. Yeah, it was, because I was seeing this person money. <laughs> You know, the profile that you were talking to, which is Creole Barbie, um, it has the 22 followers and she's following three people. That is a fake profile. It has nothing to do with the real Adriana Renee, unfortunately. Damn. Damn. Uh, uh. What are you what are you feeling right now, Jason? I see some emotions. Deceived, uh like you know, hurt, heartbroken. Mm -hmm. All this time. You know, the real Adriana, she's a an American model. She's uh from North Dakota. Uh, she, I mean, she wouldn't be asking you for food or money or money for like a phone bill or Wi-Fi or anything like, like that because she's a multimillionaire and she does super well for herself on OnlyFans. And we've watched several videos of Adriana speaking and mm -hmm. she's not based out of Nigeria like the, the tracker told us. Silly. Yeah. Go to the bathroom and freshen up. Okay. All right. Thank you. She was talking and made it seem like, oh, I'm paying your money back. I'm paying your money back. I never could. Mm. Never will. I'm finished. I mean, she wasn't real, so I'm done. I'm going to just block her and start over. Well, Jason, thank you for sharing your story with us and allowing us to help you find answers and and hopefully give you some clarity and some closure too with this relationship. You're welcome, thank you. All right, bye. Bye.
Thanks for watching another episode of Scamfish presented by socialcatfish.com. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. Scams come in so many different forms. If you have been a victim of any of the scams below, please email us at sharemystory at socialcatfish.com. We'll get to the bottom of it with help from our Social Catfish team. By sharing your story with our YouTube audience, we can educate, spread awareness, and maybe someday we can put an end to these scams.